Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Wrestling Nerd and Little Broski Show. It's been a few weeks since we did a, a video showing our purchases, the Broski buys, maybe we'll call it. I don't know yet. We haven't quite figured that out. But uh, we got quite a bit these last couple of weeks. Some mail calls, some good hunting videos. Uh, that if you've seen those out there, some shorts that I put out. So we're going to start it off. Broski, what do we got here? So... We already have, um... Yeah, we have the soft cover edition. This is the Fig Heel Wrestling Figure Encyclopedia. I think it's got everything from about 2010 on. It's in full color. It's got checklists. It's, it's got everything. Yeah. So I decided the black and white soft cover wasn't good enough. I needed the real thing, hard cover with the color. It's an amazing book. Go check that out. And then my first... You see, there's like so many New Day and like Xavier Woods stuff in there. Yeah, he's uh, the Fig Heel apparently is friends with Xavier Woods. He wrote the foreword on it. It's, you know, it's a, it's a great book. I don't want to spend too much time uh, hyping up the Fig Heel, but, you know, we're doing a commercial for him. But it is a, a really good, uh, really good book. Then we'll move on now to some of the memorabilia we got. Um, most of what I buy... I shouldn't say most, but a lot of what I buy comes from the Super Friends, kind of another commercial here, Super Friends Facebook show that's on every Wednesday. Just look up Super Friends Wrestling or however it is, uh, Super Friends. That they, they run a, a weekly show on Wednesday nights at 8 o'clock where they do auctions and buy it now, stuff like that. So and it's I've gotten a ton from them. Every bit of it has come back 100% legit. I've, I've gotten it JSA'd or Beckett authenticated and all of it's come back. So this... Uh, Broski, I'm going to run through these real quick for you. This, I got the Goon figure. Got it pretty cheap. So, it'll add to my list of figures. Um, Today is Austin 316 day. We're going to show a little bit here. We got the Monday Night Wars figure and an autographed Steve Austin promo. Again, this I got from uh, the Super Friends. On the back here, Maxine. That also came from Super Friends. Maxine is the one, she's with um, uh, Chad Gable, like the Alpha Academy. Then we've got Kevin Nash. This has kind of got all of his all of his different things going on. He's not a big Kevin Nash guy, apparently. Little broski. Yeah. Carmella, we got to meet her a few weeks ago at a GLCW show. Uh, Greg the Hammer Valentine Valentine card. I got one for my wife already. I don't know how much she appreciated it, but I love him. Jesse the Body Ventura Auto. This looks like um, Eddie Guerrero a little bit to me. Uh, really? <laughs> yeah, it does. It does look like Eddie Guerrero. Uh, the Briscoe, one of the goons. Then uh, we also have, if I ever get around to uh, seeing Hogan again, I'll get this signed. It's a, uh, a signed promo. Wait, or or a right? promo, not a signed promo. It's one I'd like to get signed. It's Hulk Hogan and Roddy Piper on there. Okay. On the back of this one is Nikita Koloff, the Russian nightmare Nikita Koloff. Um, and then, last but not least, for the memorabilia, we have this. Giant poster sent to me by, by Upper Deck. I got really into the cards for a little while. The, uh, the AEW first edition set of cards. Spent way too much money. Thank God I got out before the bottom dropped out on them. And, uh, but I, I spent so much at one point that they're sending me They've sent me a couple of things over the years. They sent me a punk card. They sent me, not too long ago, a, a Ruby Soho auto. And then now we got this big Keith Lee poster. I don't even know where I'm going to put it yet. Maybe over there by like all your AEW. Yeah, we could work on that. What do you got? Let's, let's look at the rest of this Monday Night War set here, broski. This man is the dead man. The Undertaker! <laughs> Well, his entrance is not for us. Excuse me. You got it, brother. I'm with you 100%. Now, by the way, my shirt is just what both of these two were in. Those are my shirts. But I don't like them. Uh, he's not a big fan of the NWO because they were bad guys most of the time, I suppose. I only like the Wolfpack. The Wolfpack were the best. So, yeah, we got the we found the Hogan and the the Scott Hall. Maybe I'll do a video later. I did find the topper for the shipper, the WrestleMania shipper. It's up in his room. I put it on top of his 
on his headboard there. That's he likes to point at it. Yep, he likes to point at it because where are we going, Broski? WrestleMania. Darn right, we're going to WrestleMania. I cannot wait. It might be the vacation I've looked forward to most of my life. The fact that I get to do that with little Broski means the world to me. By the way, look at this. Oh, he gives me the stunner. Kid's giving me the stunner all day, every day. Kevin. Oh. That, that Kevin Owens did not come with the no. the build a figure. Um, I bought it off eBay. Somebody wanted to build a figure. Apparently, I'm not a huge build a figure guy. Um, at least the bulldog one. At least that terrible um, guy with the pink suit on. So what else you got there, buddy? Penta Oscuro. That's it. Yeah, that's uh, kind of almost more of an Undertaker-like character that he plays. You know, a little more evil, I think, than than his normal Penta El Zero Mero uh, Miedo character. But it's it's a really nice figure. If you take a look here, he's got the mask. He's got the shovel. It's a neat fig. We'll probably be opening that here in a video coming up. Um, the CM Punk Chicago, Luminaries. Chicago! Chicago! He loved seeing it. We were there at Survivor Chicago, Series when Punk came back Chicago, and he's watched a video of the Chicago, Yahoo yelling Chicago a hundred times while he's got his arm Chicago. around Punk. He loved it. It was uh, funny. <laughs> then uh, we have a couple more Boom. members, a few members Boom. here. The House of Black. You know what? Uh, I've met the House of Black numerous occasions. I don't know how he can boo them because they are the nicest people you'd ever want to meet, especially big Brody here, Brody King. Guy's a nerd like we are. You know, he collects the toys, stuff like that. Buddy Matthews, you know, he's he's with Rhea Ripley. How bad can he be? Um, I know we got the Malachi around here somewhere. There it is. Malachi Black. By the way, this is Ring of Honor. Yeah, that's the Ring of Honor punk. I haven't gotten a chase of that yet. This is the Malachi. It's a, another good-looking figure. Maybe my least favorite, because it's a little more plain Jane than most of his figures, but it still, I mean, depicts him well. I like, I love Malachi Black. I, I wish his character would do a little bit more, but if, I understand he's been banged up, and maybe he just wants to go back to WWE with, with his girl. He's with Zelina Vega, so I wouldn't... I wouldn't be surprised to see him and Buddy Matthews going back to WWE at some point. I mean, that one other guy, I don't know. He, right. like, um, so WWE is now coming AEW, and AEW is coming WWE. Yeah, he likes all the switching around and all that. But here we got, uh, I found, I won't be opening this at least right away, This the Ultimate Warrior Chase uh, Basic. I don't really collect basics, but I found the Chase that we'll hang on to it. Maybe, maybe I'll trade it at some point. Yeah, Broski isn't real happy with Dom. I love Dirty Dom. We well, also have the, the like Series Dom. 105, Dominic. I love Dominic Mysterio. I think the, the character that he plays, he kind of the, the chicken heel, uh, acting like he's done the hard time. Good stuff. Then we also have the Series, series 107 Taker. I found it was in that same shipper with the Monday Night Wars guys. Um, another... Ew. Another nice figure. This is more the, this, the taker biker. This one and this one are the best. But I don't even know who this is. What else? So, so I found I was down in uh, Illinois at an Ollie's and they had for three ninety nine the WWE superstars Hulk Hogan NWO and the Ric Flair. So I, I picked up an extra Hogan. I'll put him put him with my Hogan uh, display over there. And go with that. I have them right now with the rest of the superstars that I collect. And I also got another Blue Boots Chase Hogan here. That one I'll probably hang on to. I've got one already. I'll probably hang on to it and see if maybe I can trade that guy. Um, Wait, didn't, didn't you open that? I, I opened one of them, correct. So I, I'll keep, I'll probably hang on to that one for the time being. See what, see what we get. Now, Captain Big. Lou Albano and Big Van Vader. We, uh, I, I pre-ordered those and from Walmart and of course, but even after I saw other people getting them in stores, my pre-order got canceled. Mm -hmm. Walmart just constantly can canceling your pre-orders, which stinks, but what are you going to do? Nothing now, I can do about something it. something that I don't understand is why Vader has a weird cape on. 
I think he wore that at one point back in the day. I, I, you know what? I'm not 100% sure on that, to be honest with you. You want to show off some of these guys over here, broski? But yeah, I, I love Vader. Captain Lou brings me back to my childhood. So those, these guys will be getting opened in a later video. Okay. There's only one thing I like about the figures, which is this. The Prime Bottle? It's yeah. a neat figure. It's a good figure. I, I think it's pretty decent likeness of him. For a second, I, I was trying to see if that one had a Prime Bottle. Uh, but it's there. Is that had a Prime Bottle? Oh, the, uh, I, you probably can't see it well. I do have the, it's the Ultimate Edition of Logan Paul. I have it. It's, I'm blocking it. Um, I have no idea if it's in um, there now. And I also Something like the rail drink. Yeah, he's... Except for lemonade. You don't, you don't like the lemonade, broski? No. Okay. It, you don't it have just... to. What else we got here, brother? No! Again. Finn Balor. He's... Someone I hate. This... He's a big fan of the faces, guys. Well, broski's yeah. a baby face. At least he is the... At least he is the best in the game, dude. Oh, actually, you know the best. Our true. <laughs> Our truth rules. All right, so what do you got there? You got a little Cora Jade and Carmelo. They're both first time in the line. A couple of good figures there. Um, we'll be opening those up as well, and then we're going to open all these guys up. I came across the Grayson Waller and Paul Bear. I already had the chase of both, but I was fortunate enough to come across the non-chase. Paul Bear has been a really hard find anywhere, regardless chase or not. So I'm pretty pretty pleased to have picked that up um, at, at my local Walmart. You suck. Then uh, you last suck. but not least for this you week's suck. buys, we've you got Solo suck. Sokoa of the Bloodline and John, Johnny Gargano. You suck. See, you I'm exactly opposite. Suck. I like Solo. Johnny Gargano does nothing for me. DIY. Meh. But that's this week's buys. I think uh, we've had our, not really even this week, it's probably been about three weeks all together, but pretty good week, uh, pretty good couple of weeks here of purchases. Broski, you got anything to add? Um, nah. Hit the button, Broski.